As the Patriots of Texas square off against the globalist Biden regime, a new poll says that immigration is the top concern of American voters, overtaking inflation for the first time since they broke the economy with the pandemic lockdowns. Ironically, given we're coming into the 2024 election, immigration was the very issue that catapulted Donald Trump into the presidency from the very moment he stepped off that gilded escalator. You would think Biden's handlers would have learned a lesson, but apparently given a choice between voters and their army of globalist lobbyists and activists, they know who butters their bread. Last week, a Harvard-Harris poll found that 35% of voters named immigration as their top concern, pipping inflation, which scored 32% as top concern, followed by economy and jobs at 25%. In case you're curious, next up was crime and drugs at 16 Deficit and national security, each at 14. Finally, corruption and the environment, which are, of course, connected, tied at 13. While inflation was still the top issue in terms of topics that impact voters personally, that is likely to change as millions of illegals flood into every town and city across America. The reason, of course, is the apparently open border. With so-called migrant encounters hitting about 200,000 per month, on top of the many thousands who don't bother reporting to Border Patrol. Perhaps because they have criminal records, or they are on a terrorist watch list, or there is some other reason they don't want to be recorded. The same poll found that voters overwhelmingly think conditions are getting worse at the border. So that's 81% of Republicans, as you'd expect, but it's also 68% of independents who are fed up. In fact, a plurality of Democrats think the border is out of control. Meanwhile, across all parties, 68% of Americans think the federal government should make it harder to get into the U.S., including 85% of Republicans, 71% of Independents, and even Democrats are split 50-50. That is pretty overwhelming for a democracy, so one might imagine the Biden administration would change tack, listen to the voters, and close the gaping wound of a border. Of course not. They're currently instead pushing a deal that would essentially legalize the millions who already snuck in along with billions more for the welcome wagon Biden has set up at the southern border. And in place of a wall, Biden is currently tearing down what barriers the state of Texas has managed to install. At least it is trying to. That is currently in the courts. So what's next? Brought to you by Unchained.com. It takes a certain chutzpah to ignore 68% of voters in a democracy, including half the voters in your own party. One can only conclude these special interests in play on immigration are apparently so terrifying to Joe Biden's handlers that they outweigh voters. Who would those special interests be beyond the obvious woke crowd who enjoys crushing the middle class for sport and presumably hopes migrants become socialist voters? There's an enormous bipartisan lobby made up of big business, especially in agriculture, who would very much like cheap labor with the literally trillions of collateral damage shunted onto the voters, the healthcare costs, the schooling, the rest of the welfare industrial complex. In fact, the Wall Street Journal regularly praises immigration for holding down Americans' wages to fight inflation, saying the quiet part out loud. Short, immigration is shaping up to be a top issue in the 2024 election along with the economy. In both cases, the dynamics are clear. Lobbyists and activists against an overwhelming consensus of voters. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.